For our next story, let's talk about exams. Most of us have a love-hate relationship with exams, but love it or hate it, you cannot avoid them. Exams are a part of the deal, part of our life, and often the stressful part. But how would you feel if your country came to a standstill when you wrote an exam? If planes were stopped from landing anywhere in the country just because you were writing an exam, and not any exam, a nine-hour test, I would say that's a whole new level of stressful. It happened in South Korea. Students sat for a nine-hour test, and literally the whole country was watching. Flights, trains, cars, military drills, everything slowed down or stopped. Why? Because it would distract the students. Our next report tells you more. In South Korea, it was an unusual Thursday. Flights were halted. Trains and cars slowed down. Trading was delayed by an hour. Businesses opened late. The army stopped its exercises. And residents gathered on the street. Why? Because it was exam day in South Korea. The day of the Sunung. This is South Korea's annual college entrance exams. It may sound like a simple affair, but mind you, nothing about it is ordinary. Over half a million people sit for this exam every year. And for them, it's do or die, at least in the rat race of education. This exam is considered life-defining. It defines which colleges they go to, what jobs they get, how their career will look like, and even who they marry. I came today with the mindset of not making any mistakes and getting the answers right since I studied hard until now. I think we are all feeling nervous, but I hope that we all do well in our exam. The exam itself is nine hours long and the questions are prepared for days. They are prepared by a team of professors and high school teachers who gather from across the country and then meet up in a secret location. It's mostly in a sparsely populated region of South Korea. These test creators must first surrender their cell phones. Basically, they must be cut off from the world. The exam includes questions on math, history, science, Korean language and English. So a nine hour long exam, multiple topics and the whole of South Korea coming to a standstill. Imagine the pressure on the students. The South Korean education system is already very competitive, both inside and outside school. In 2022, South Korean households spent $20 million on private education, all just to get a good score in this exam. I'm a bit relieved after hearing my daughter say that she slept well and watching her walking into the test venue pretty confidently. But I'm nervous at the same time. I think I'm more nervous than my own daughter. And she's not alone. This pressure can be too much for anyone. And it reflects in South Korea's teenage depression and suicide rates. They are among the highest in the world. In 2021, South Korea recorded a suicide rate of 26 per 100,000 people. It's one of the highest in the world. Suicide was also one of the main causes of death between those aged 10 to 39. The reason behind these suicides was mental illnesses. Many people blame South Korea's cutthroat competitive education system for it. Those who can't make it often resort to drastic measures. But should any exam be this important? It's easy to say that exams don't matter in the long run. We've heard that a lot. But in the real world, exams do matter. They help you get good education, jobs and a lucrative career. But halting flights for it and ending lives over it is surely taking things too far.